Hey, it's Dr. E with PhysioAnswers.com, and this is your one-minute PT PSA for Get PT First. If you're convinced that the weather affects your low back pain, think again. A study done in 2014 in Australia looked at almost 1,000 participants with low back pain. They interviewed the participants about the time when they first noticed their back pain and they looked for associations with the time periods or the weather conditions one week before and one month before the onset of when they first noticed the pain. That was the control. The big difference between this study and other studies, other than the very large sample size, which is great, is that the participants were only interviewed about how they felt and it wasn't suggestive in any way. In other studies, if they just ask something simple like, how do you feel when it's sunny out versus how do you feel when it's raining, you're eliminating the bias that other studies have introduced when they ask people, how do you feel during these weather conditions? Or if it was raining, how does your back feel? Again, in this very large study, almost 1,000 people, they were just asked how they felt. Then, the researchers went back and looked at do any of these flare-ups of back pain have any association with temperature, humidity, air pressure, wind direction, or precipitation. There was no association for any of those variables. Higher wind speed and wind gusts did slightly increase chances of lower back pain, but the amount of increase was not clinically important. Essentially, weather does not affect back pain according to the study. Make sure to see a physical therapist and get PT first before you try x-rays, shots, MRIs, or any of those other primary interventions that haven't really been shown to actually help manage your low back pain. We can help you move and feel better.